How's it going? Siltire here, and this is part 18 of my Ab Urbican Data Let's Play as the British Trains. Okay, now presently we're on my way to attack a couple of settlements, having already taken Lavavum here. I've got my army sort of placed for movement here when I'm, when I'm ready. They've I went the wrong way here actually, and I'm going to readjust and come back around this way. Chase these down, I think. Um, they're our allies and don't know what they're doing up here right enough but there you go and then we've got this situation here I'm going to try and draw this army onto us uh, Orgatrix here see if we can get them to attack us on this bridge and then we'll take Vienna after that uh, but at the moment I've General. got Meridoc heading for um, Patavium I think this we'll find this is it is and we'll get Lucho heading for Suggestica here. I was going to go for a Quincom, but the Dacians are besieged that, so without much further ado, I don't think there's anything I need to fix anywhere. I'm building everywhere, aren't I? Let's just a quick run through. I don't really need that up there. They're all growing slowly, but they're turning over a good income for us, and that's the important thing at this moment in time. Matium. Don't really. Well, I don't think we need that. We can get it elsewhere. Else. Just some of the settlements, all those concentrating us, providing an income for us. As long as they're all happy everywhere, so it matters. Yeah, that will do us for now. Okay, so we'll move on to the next turn. Yeah, I thought we might do that. Quite a lot of them as well, wouldn't there? It says even on the army strengthometer, but um, we know it. Yeah, we knew what that one had. What's this one got? Okay. Um, well, unfortunately, if we beat them, it's not a death end for them. There's no skull and crossbones here, so we're still going to have to go and take Vienna should we win this battle. But anyway, let's get down on the battlefield. Now, I'll probably set up a little bit of a noob block on this bridge, but not in the conventional way a lot of people do. I like to allow them, because that causes a choke point on the bridge, you can cause lag in your game as well. There are many roads to victory. Today our way will be paved with the skulls of our enemies. Show no mercy as you walk this path. All right, that'll do. Now what I'll probably do is I'll allow them to be able to get off this bridge and then we'll keep them in a square here. Now what I just want to quickly check is, I mean I know it's a bridge there but sometimes there's a little bit where they can get across and a little bit of a ford or something like that. But um, I don't see that. Then again it doesn't always show up. No, it seems as if the only way across here is the bridge. So we'll get ourselves prepped for that. Let's just draw the men back a bit. And um, let's start off with uh, so this this is what we'll be doing. There's just no way I'm going to allow them to win this battle. Famous last words. <laughs> okay. Swordsmen. We'll keep them all sort of there for the moment. Uh, we'll keep the cavalry pretty well there. And we're chieftain up in amongst. 
are oh, right behind these units here. Now these slingers, let's get them off. Fire at will. I mean, I'll put them over here and it'll be just a case of using them as I need them. We could actually get them to fire from both sides, couldn't we? Because a bit different from our arrows. Yeah. Another thing I noticed, if you bunch them up too much, they tend to kill you know, their own units, you know, like friendly fire. So, right, we can get at them from both sides of the bridge there. And let's just hope I've got enough. Right, okay. Ha, the enemy have so we'll allow them to, to get on. The same over here. And if you're wondering why I don't pause to put them into position, well, that's cheating, isn't it? In a sense. Well, it's taking advantage of your your mechanics, if you know what I mean. But I, I don't really see the point of that. If you can do it quick enough yourself. Right, they're all on. Bring them down to there. Bring them down to about there. And I think that'll pretty much do it. Actually, let's bring them down there. And another unit here. Bring them down there. And another unit here. That should be alright. Switch them off for now. Until we get onto the bridge. Make sure they're off yet. Yeah. They're off. They're off. Okay. I should take out a few of them. Make it oh they can't even fire over there. Let me watch these ones. They're not gonna break us. Your turn. Bit of a in your turn. Fire. Let's just bring them down there. I just can't see how they can, can do anything. I'll go and let them fire at will. I'm on the bridge here. That's interesting. They are archers. We can't. The thing is, we can't reach them. They've got such a. advantage over us. Who can he find? must be Forester, Archers or something then. Gallic tries, they get their long range. Because they're taking out our slingers here, look. Can't reach them. Alright, we just need to sacrifice them. There ain't a lot of 
I'm not going to get through. A little uh, rallying call from our leader here, our war chief. And a little bit of war cry from the guys at the back here. From them, usually get some, get more a bit frightened. There we go. Cavalry, get after them. Oh, there you go. Orgatrix is gone. He's deaded. Okay, boys. They're getting pretty much slaughtered, but. Just keep breaking them down, they ain't get much to come back at us with. Yeah, Chieftain, come kill him. My little rally call me away, or way out. This is why I don't, I don't block, and a lot of people will block the exit off the bridge, but I think it, I may be wrong, but I feel it works better by giving them a bit of space to run into, especially when you've got a lot of missiles you can fire into that space. Alright, let's bring you back. There's not many escaping, we're going to do them all, but we won't do Get the cavalry back up here. Yeah. Case go to chase after him. Where are you going? I must have mistakenly moved them. But that's MB. Nothing else for it. They're they're running like nobody's business there. I don't think we can catch any of them. Cavalry after Kill me first. There is a crossing, look at that. Doesn't actually show up, does it? Nah. Best just let them escape. We're never gonna catch any of them. Yeah, I'll bite you come, mate. They're too far away. Let's just speed up so they can get off the battlefield. We killed quite a lot of them, didn't we? 1600. 74%. So, we did alright. Okay, well, we won't rush Mars. Uh, oh, wait a minute, what's going on here? 
Let's drop that down and uh, I don't think that's I've left that in there but I don't think that's um, one of our cultures and um, temples is it? Brigantia Abnoba well it is yeah alright fair enough Money is good. Uh, anywhere else suffering? He's a little bit of a tone down. Vary comes fine. Our well, settlements are okay. They're yeah, just a little bit on low tax area. They need a bit of encouragement here. Um, not a blacksmith. Uh, I'd give my tavern that all. Possibly another unit. Oh, it should help matters there. Blue Vavum. Same sort of situation there. They should have enough. We'll recruit them anyway, just to uh, put another unit in for public order. Orders. Orders. There's only one unit there we want. Um, Destroy. Fear us. Let's go and do them then. Thirty-four men. Uh, well, I want to resolve that. You know, what I mean, I'm not going to piss about. I say they fight every battle, but that's just a little bit ridiculous. Every respectable battle, I think, that's a fair way to put it. Okay, now then, this settlement. What's this Faberanum? Okay, so everything's okay there. We'll put the sacred grove in. Everything's going all right there. Okay. Put a trader in the market in there, rather. Iberonum. No, put happiness in there already, isn't it? Cenobum. Market in Cenobum. Varicum. The blacksmith. Uh, Veldedeno. Okay, we'll put a trader in there. Good brat. Weaponsmith in there, that'll improve things as well. Escape to our justice, where was he, Valdedano? Oh, he ain't got anybody in there. Uh, spy or anything like that. Well, he can get in there. 40% chance. Okay. Doesn't matter if we get attacked, we can take care of all of that, I would think. General. Leave him there, that's fine. The Sneaky's getting an extra bit of extra trait. Oh, he's got the trait of Sneaky, is it? I've yeah, seen that. Anime routes, it's okay. Now then. Whoa. Settlement. Settlement under siege. Oh, what's this? What's this? Oh, and these. Ligurian swordsmen. Etruscan hot lights. I like the look at these. Oh, well. We're attacking. I just want to get them for a variation, just to. We don't need them. 
I'm just getting them because I, I can afford them. There we are. Uh, there's nothing that he needs. He's in. He got a 28 expert spy now. What age is he, by the way? 50. Oh, he's getting on a bit. Okay. There we are, and um, oh, they've left the queen come now. Look, oh, bollocks! Never mind, go and get it later. Right, everything's looking pretty cool for the next turn. Still got money left. We're building everywhere. Uh, oh, go and destroy them. Didn't sink him though, you bum. What way did it go? It went up here somewhere. Yes, Captain. There it is. Attack! Get him next time. How are we doing up here? Everything alright? Yeah, drop their taxes a little bit. That'll be done in one turn and then we'll get that in there. We've got the money, we'll... We'll, um Queue up just now. Says put in there. Right. None of these. How are these going? To Sergium. Nothing happening there. Alright, let's go to the next turn then. Whoa. Didn't expect that. Where did they come from? Oh, maybe they came from. Well, I don't matter. Right, who's interesting? Right, Operado Operadorix, the cunning. Well, we'll see how cunning he is very shortly, won't we? Now they're going to be again. We haven't get the kill the the kill off factor. They have the we can't take a settlement at the same time if we defeat them. They're going to be coming to from our left. Alright. Even Stevens ratio. Let's go and get it sorted. as a farm. I was wondering where it was. Now, they'll be coming from, they should be coming from our left, but I can't see where the settlement is. We've got a bit of high ground here we can utilise, hopefully to our advantage. It's not much, but um, That must be a settlement up there then, yeah, right, that's cool. Let's just make them travel as far as we can possibly make them travel. And, uh, oh, got a lot of swordsmen. Sort of there because they have get um, javelins. They have 
beside the slingers and these spearmen we'll put them right in the middle of the slingers so if any carved chaver ch excuse me cavalry chars them then they get a point to stick up their arse Right boys, you sit there. I think that's it. Is that everybody? Oh no, I've missed some. Oh yeah, I wanted these just as um, support. There we go. Actually, we'll spot them. Because these are a bit stronger. And then, these can be sort of light reserves to charge in when we need them. Okay. Um, I don't want to. Uh, this is corner camping, isn't it, really? But I've not got. I mean, that's going to jump back a bit, so it's not all corner camping. We'll leave it as it stands like that. Right. Bring it on. The enemy are scared. They have brought even more men. No matter, we will count the dead later. Let's triple speed it, so we can move it along a little bit. I think what we'll do is we'll, we'll send them there. Oh. I certainly hope you get the common sense to run away, you bums. to lag it. Never mind. 
down at Ronnie Ray Games House. The enemy warlord flees from our warriors. Attack and drive them back in the okay. same way. Check them out, boys. That's the leader. Should get them. Wipe out as many as we can. Warlord flees from our warriors. Attack and drive them back in the same way. Let's get you away from them down at the front now. The enemy warlord lies dead. That's now good. the Take enemy army well. runs. Now hunt them down. Try and kill as many as we can. Okay, let's get our swordsman back into place again. over here. But slow, I mean, catch them slingers. a unit of uh, slingers but we can live better. They're tired, that's the only thing. Get after them there. That's archers. Got us pretty much one there. It's only a captain. Get him. Oh, 
sorted there. Push that up, so let's get after them. And uh, you boys can get in here. Get him shut in there. I think we took a few casualties, nearly half my men gone, but I sort of half expected that. Always got to bear in mind that the enemy is a lot stronger than us most of the time. Well, not a lot, but they've got better experience, etc. Go and get them, beauty. And we can sort them out. How the hell did they get away? Change the plan. The Porridorix, the cunning. <laughs> Not so very cunning after all, chap. Alright, we took a fair, um, fair amount of casualties here. What happened with these? I thought I sent you attack one them. I swore I sent them chasing after them. 88% killed. You can catch them guys here. They must be knackered, and you should be f well, just winded and warmed up. That should be enough. This is no longer a battle. This is a hunt. No, a coward. Job done. Chase. Go get them cavalry. I'm disappointed if they can't catch them archers. Caught them, I think. And they were going to beat just before the the blizzards arrived. Can't see any more. Actually, bet all over. And ninety-six percent. This is a great victory. Well, of course it is. We still took a bloody lot of casualties. Oh, look at this. Crikey. Am I going to get many back? Oh yeah, I get quite a lot. Oh, Christ, I might we get nearly... Look at this, what's this? 29, 37, over 100 there. 100 there. Another 100 there. No, that's got about 400 back. That's not bad. I'm just over. Hmm. Must be a lot of wounded men right enough, but um, I'll take that. All warfare is based on deception, Sun Tzu, that's very true, you know. And we've got the settlement. Tavium. Exterminator. Because that's got a high popular population usually, and gets squalor. Taxi Magulus of Ponce Alias, or well, what? That's some name, isn't it? All right. Well, we're going to have him at a three-star gen, natural-born leader, publicly loyal, confident commander. You'll do for me, chum. We we'll just call you Taxi from now on. Taxi, and that's. Uh, We're building there. And we're fine there. Pop that in there. And they're building there. Budika. That's interesting. New family member. I wonder if that's the original, the real Boudicca. Nah. 
Dota. We know the richest faction. And the resistance is futile. Okay then, so that should do it, I think. We've got that settlement pretty much under. Uh, look at this. Okay, we can retrain a lot of these. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll merge them a bit. Get them back up. Looking cool. Yeah, we are. And right then. They ain't much good. We'll disband them. Right, uh, just fix out the settlement. Construction. Dock, yeah, be, could be good, but we don't want that. We want. 100 men. Do we need that? What, what's the difference? Hold on a sec. Hall of Heroes gives us good enough units. Oh, it, it, it gives us these guys, doesn't it? These little beauties. Nah, but we won't bother about that just now. Royal Stables. We don't want chariots. Noble Cav, do we get that here? Where's, this? Where's the stables? Archery range. Warlord stables. Barbarian cavalry. And noble cavalry. Not fantastic. Yeah, we don't need them for. We only, that only gives us the chariots. We don't need that. I'd rather have the blacksmith. And we can get Drews with that, but not really bother about Drews. Tax level can get jumped up a bit to high, and that'll do. And uh, yeah, all in all, that was a good little episode. So. Uh, We'll leave it there. Thanks for watching. A little bit to come back to in the next episode. Bye.